month's Sunday Moon uh, update video. So, there was, um, in my last video, I mentioned that there would be news uh, on the 12th, I believe it was, or something like that, or 14th. And there was, but it was only confirmation of Koro Koro. So, I decided it wasn't too important. Like, the only thing that we got were confirmation of the two new Ultra Beasts, which I'll just go over in this video. But, um, we got quite a bit of information in today's um, video, which of your trailer, which of course is in the description below. We got four new Pokemon, two of which were in Koro Koro, and that is Rockruff's Evolutions. But these two other new ones that are monkeys, and I think that they're actually pretty cool, especially this one, known as Passimian, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And actually, he's going to be, ex I, I believe he's exclusive. Yeah, he's exclusive in Pokemon Sun only. So the only way to get this is to trade uh, in Pokemon Moon if you, um, want him which i think he's pretty cool you would have to trade with someone in pokemon sun so this is known as the teamwork pokemon and we'll get into it into that in a bit because he is a team player he has this new ability called receiver and he's a pure fighting type and so his, his ability is actually pretty cool and we'll go over that in just like a minute but um passimian live in troops of 20 to 30 individuals all following a leader the leader will take 10 of the individuals in the best condition to search for food the troops teamwork is strong and the boss of each troop decides what mark members will wear on their arms to distinguish the troops Lobbing berries at foes is how passimian attack they sometimes work in coordination with others, passing berries back and forth to be wilder, to bewilder their opponents. Sorry, Passimian uh, don't just pitch hard berries at their opponents either. They have, also have a technique that uses soft berries to obscure their opponent's ability to see. Passimian wants its trainer to have the qualities of a leader as well. It watches the trainers form closely when he or she throws pokeballs and will not listen to the orders of a trainer with poor form. So, geez, this is, he really wants you to be specific. But his ability, which is really, really cool, it's very similar to Trace in the fact of, um, what happens is if one of your Pokemon, if one of your, its allies' Pokemon dies in battle, it will inherit that ability. So, what that means is, in the trailer where it showed, um, a double battle, Passimian and Vicavolt versus Tortinator and, um, uh... Hello Sand. And so what happened was the Vicavolt fainted. And Vicavolt has the ability to levitate. Well, because Vicavolt was Passimian's um, partner, Passimian gained the ability to levitate after Vicavolt fainted. And then it was able to evade the um, ground type moves by Palo Sand. Only thing is that means that you won't want to use this Pokemon in single battles. But single battles are mainly what the games have, which is something I've never actually liked too much. I prefer double battles. I find them a lot more interesting. Yes, single battles are fun, but I just always like double battles more. So unless they're going to add a ton more doubles and triples and rotation or something like that, I wouldn't suggest using Passimian, especially since he doesn't have a second ability. Now, we don't know what his hidden ability is yet, so that'll probably affect, you know how he is but other than that like he seems like a really good pokemon and i i definitely think he's pretty cool it's a good thing i'm getting pokemon sun so this other pokemon which which looks just so weird his name is our oran guru known as the sage pokemon and it does look very elderly and very psychic it's a normal and psychic type so definitely neutral to um fighting and has the abilities inner focus and telepathy nothing new and he only is in Pokemon Moon, so if you're playing Pokemon Sun, you have to trade with someone in Moon. So this was our first look at exclusives. Oranguru live solitary lives deep in the forest and do not take much action. Instead, they position themselves high up in the trees to meditate. Long ago, people thought that Oranguru were humans who dwelled in the forest steps, so they called them the people of the forest. Oranguru is the kind to the other Pokemon living in the forest, providing medicine for injured Pokemon and food for the hungry. The fan-like objects held by Oranguru are handmade by the Oranguru themselves. These fan appear to be made of layers of leaves bound together with Oranguru's own fur. And here's the interesting part. He gets a new move called Instruct. It can make the selected target use its most recent move again immediately. So that could be... Usually you'd want to use it for your uh, partner. 
So for example, let's say you have, um, I'm just going to use the example used in the trailer, where a wishy-washy, it was an Oranguru and wishy-washy against two other Pokemon. The wishy-washy was able to use Surf again and Telepathy on Oranguru caused it to take no damage, which was pretty good. Next we got confirmation on, um, I believe the, uh, the name in Japanese was Lugaruga. Now it's called Lycanroc, which actually still sounds pretty cool in my opinion. And this is the midday form, which I, I think is way better than the midnight form. Maybe just because I don't like darker Pokemon, but hey, that's just me. So it is a rock type with Kenai and Sandrush, which is pretty good. And I still think this is a really good design. Value's influence causes Rockruff to evolve into this form. So we finally found out why the games are set 12 hours apart. Because you have evolutions based off of the games, which is, in my opinion, such a bad idea. I want, you know, both, of, of eventually, but like, uh, I think it's kind of weird. But that now we know why the games are 12 hours apart, because in Sun you get uh, Lycanroc Midday, and in Moon you get Midnight. Lycanroc obeys its trainer's orders dutifully, in a particular in particular, if a trainer accepted it during its more rebellious pre-evolution period, Lycanroc will never ever betray that trainer and will be the most loyal of partners. Midday form is known for speedy movements that will leave its opponents bewildered. It dodges opponents strikes while attacking with sharp rocks of its mane, and it slips right past them. A cell rock is a move that only midday form Lycanroc can learn. It slams into an opponent with quick moves. This move is guaranteed to strike first, so that is just pretty cool in my opinion. I definitely think that this is the better evolution, but that's just me. But that's also probably just because of design, because I like this design a lot. That could also just be because I like wolves, and maybe that's why. I don't know why, though. I just don't really like Midnight Form as much, which we will get into in just a second once the page loads. So here's Midnight Form, and it just looks really weird in my opinion, and I'm... Actually, I'm just looking at the typing for the first time now, and it says it's pure rock. And that really surprises me, because I thought it would be at least ghost or dark, because look at it, it, it just looks evil. Plus, it's called Midnight Form, and it has the abilities Keen Eye and Vital Spirit. When Rockruff is bathed in an abundance of lunar energy, it evolves into its Midnight Form. In the wor world of Pokemon Moon, Lunala's influence causes Rockruff to evolve into this form. Contempt rises in the Pokemon for trainers who give orders it doesn't agree with or who try to force it to battle. On the other hand, it will feel a deep trust in a trainer who can truly draw forth its power its power in battle. Counter is a move that Rockruff can work evolves into midnight form Lycanroc. When Lycanroc takes physical damage from an opponent, it deals double that damage back to this same opponent so that's pretty interesting i guess but counter i don't think is a new move um uh it doesn't i mean it just looks like it's going to be very strong maybe physical and <laughs> this pose right there that's pretty good but it not really something i like but that's really it for the new pokemon other than that we got two new exclusive z moves exclusive z moves i believe were mentioned last time when we got uh pulverizing pancake snorlax and stoked spark surfer raichu which is pretty cool so in today's we got um eevee's special move or special z move and pikachu's pikachu gets a move called catastropica so instead of Catastrophe, it's Catastropica. Uh, it's a super-powered attack where Pikachu borrows its trainer's strength, wrapping itself in high, inner, high, extra high voltage electric power and charging it into its opponent. This will become Pikachu's most powerful attack. So let's just see what the pictures... Um, you can see that it kind of looks like it's um, move and smash. It's uh, C... not C move, but you guys know what I'm talking about if you play smash. Um... And then Eevees, which I think is way better than Pikachu's, Extreme Evo Boost. So one thing, the name kind of gives it away. What happens is Eevee's exclusive Z-move um, gathers together Sylveon, Jolteon, um, Vaporeon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, um, I already said Sylveon, Leafeon. It gathers all the evolutions together so that all of Eevee's stats get raised by two. That is just incredible. Plus, like the the um, like the scene, the the 
like this is what you see and it's just pretty cool and, like you see all of the ev evolutions just coming all together just to help ev and that is just so cool just that alone is so cool but also i think that confirms that we will not be getting a new ev evolution this gen or else it would be part of this move so uh, that's a little saddening but i mean we, we have so many ev um ev evolutions already so as i said uh the ultra beast we got ultra beast 2 UB2 expansion, UB2 beauty were confirmed. Um, UB2 expansion is going to be in Pokemon Sun. Beauty is going to be in Pokemon Moon. That was confirmed. They're going to be fighting against Tapu Koko. So apparently UB2 absorption just has a ton of muscles. Um, that's going to be really strong by the looks of it. Um... And apparently it might be using its mouth to attack because it's as strong as diamonds. And then UB2, um, UB Beauty um, has long, graceful legs and that makes it really fast. Um, and apparently any Pokemon that sees it, regardless of its gender, will become infatuated and lose its will to battle. And so that, that's kind of cheating, but oh well. Next we have Pokemon Refresh. Which is going to be very similar to Pokemon Ami or Amy, however you pronounce it, which was introduced in XY and Oras, where you could like play with your Pokemon. This is going to be very similar, and actually, by the looks of it, even better, as, because you can like clean up the dirt that's on your Pokemon. You get to cure them of poisoning and of elect of paralysis, and you get to feed them. You get to be pet. You get to pet them. You know all this stuff. So it looks like it's just going to be better Pokemon Ami, Amy, however it's pronounced. Um, use po the Pokemon Refresh feature to care for your Pokemon. After a battle, Pokemon sometimes end up all dirty. When that happens, you can take care of them and get them all cleaned up by taking care of your Pokemon. You can also cure status conditions like poisoning, paralysis, that uh, burn, whatever, that were inflicted on your Pokemon in battle. I mean, I don't really see the point in that unless, like, it is, you know, they can be annoying, but, like, since when you walk, poison doesn't you know, injure you anymore. I mean, there's there's no real need, I guess, but that, it's still a cool feature because you get to play with your Pokemon. Pokemon that have grown very affectionate thanks to petting them and a lot and feeding them their beloved Poke Beans will battle to the utmost for you. Sometimes they'll avoid attacks from opposing Pokemon and even hold out when they're on the verge of fainting. Take good care of your Pokemon with Pokemon Refresh and they'll be great allies on your adventure. So it's going to be very similar to Pokemon Ami and I'm guessing it's mainly there because Sylveon has the main way to evolve from this. And if you didn't know, Pokemon Ami had like these little features where once you like got your Pokemon's affection really high, they would sometimes dodge attacks more often, get more often crits, and all these different things. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, and one of the coolest and most important facts, is character customizations is back officially. It was officially announced today. And by the looks of it, there's going to be a ton more customizations for both boys and girls, especially boys, because the boy champs or boy champ boy character um didn't really have that much going when it came to customization like you couldn't do too much girls could do a lot more than guys but now the guys actually look like they can do a ton and the girls can also do way more so that's really cool so you get to change like your clothing your hairstyle and your eye color eye colors done through wet contact lenses which is i believe what they also did before so here's the original look, here's another look, you know, there's a ton of, uh, of other looks that were given, so that's just cool to know. And then, apparently also what you get to do is you can dye your clothes different colors, so let's say, that way you just can be more unique, you know? So like, let's say there's like this really nice blue shirt, but you like the color green, dye it green, there you go. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. But by the looks of it, it could only be done with white, but I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, the, when the game comes out, we'll see. So here you have, like, red and uh, yellow shorts instead of the white. Or red and orange, sorry. Uh, blue And blue socks, you know. So that's really cool. That's just actually really, really cool. So I think that's it for all the news. Definitely tell me what you guys think, because this is a lot of news. So make sure to tell me what you think. And until then, see you guys all next time. Peace.